Right, golly, it's been a weird afternoon. <laughs> it has. Um, I had I had to have a little nap. I had a little sleepy. <laughs> My brain had to. <laughs> I didn't have much choice in the matter. It was like, um, <coughs> similarly to when I fell asleep in the clinic that time. Um, it was like a done fucking couple of diazepam, <laughs> literally. It's like, uh, eyes just start closing, yawning, just closing down. Brain didn't want to fucking work. It's like, nope. <laughs> so I slept, and then I've like I've gone down the coffee shop, and whoa, it's like. <laughs> My awareness was wobbling around inside my head and I could feel it hitting the inside of my skull and when it hit the inside of my skull I got dizzy. <laughs> Body illusions, <laughs> that sort of shit. But I don't know if I'm just becoming unwell because I am quite achy, neck wibbly. <laughs> neck wibbly achic. So who fucking knows, I might be, I might be going down on someone, uh, going down with something. <laughs> um, Oh dear, I am quite not with it, <laughs> not with it. I'm going out dancing tonight. I'm going to let electronic repetitive music try and fill my brain <laughs> and drown everything out. I don't know why I need to do this. I need to hang that leg like that for a mo. Do excuse me, peace out. Um, but yeah, this is like... I don't know if it's just like the emotional hangover from all my jitteriness leading up to it and it's like not just the jitteriness over the last couple of days but like the culmination of everything who knows that that sort of like melt ish down the other whenever was a lot to do with that it was just part of the fucking journey it was part of one of the things that was because it, oh, do you know what? i'm gonna have to fucking turn around do fucking excuse me that shoulder i think it's because it's my normal leaning shoulder <laughs> I hope you can still understand what I'm saying when I'm this way round. <laughs> there we go. Here I am. Oh, dear, my fucking feet smell. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's just like the fallout from that. Where it has been a bit of a roller coaster. Um, but I think, you know, I think so sometimes as well they call this a flattening of affect. And it is that just kind of like now what a coolness of it all. Like, because I kind of, I can't guess what people would say, but I know I have had the phrase, so it's a personality disorder, so your personality's different. And it doesn't matter what people think. No, but if we just keep coming across that fucking attitude all the time, it just makes you go, I'll tell you what, <laughs> it's, it's far, far easier if I just sit here alone. <laughs> it's. it's <laughs> So what? But in a sense, yeah, so what? So what now? But like I've said from the start, this is a journey. It's going to be a journey. I'm going to do what I did with my broken leg. <laughs> Keep recording all of my fucking victories along the way. Because I have to. That's why. <laughs> I fucking need to. And the reason I need to isn't my fault. <laughs> so I am... Um, Currently weeding through the less harmful bits of my fucking, <laughs> my weirdness and going, quite frankly, my darling, you can go and fuck yourself. Or would you like me to join you? <laughs> but, like, <laughs> I am, see, I'm scatty. I'm just, like, weird shit in my head. Like, God, I was in the shop just now and it looked at my fucking, I just, looked at this fucking stuff and it was my cellar water. I was like, you're fucking cellar water? What the fuck are you doing drinking cellar water, you dirty cow? <laughs> but I had to fucking, like, I had to say it. <laughs> I had to say it. Because otherwise, the word, my cellar water, my cellar water, my cellar water, would just keep looping around in my fucking head. Just because I'd seen it. And it was my cellar water, my cellar water, my cellar water. Just because it sounded weird. I was like, I'm sure I've heard of it before. I'm sure I've fucking heard of it before. <laughs> It just made me think, you're fucking cellar water. <laughs> Why is your cellar leaking? That would be my fucking principle. Fucking I'm a builder, darling. Do you want me to come and sort that out with you? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the kind of clippity weird nonsense that I have to like contend with at the moment. It is a little bit relentless. Uh, so the energy has to come out. And as we know, the energy will come out. <laughs> because the 
energy has to come out. The energy always comes out. If you stop it coming out, it still comes out. Um, so that's kind of the plan for tonight. And I'm also facing my fears a wickle bit because last time I went clubbing, uh, there was a lot of cool bits to it and there was some challenging bits to it. But my biggest challenge was my um, schizoidicalness. My my um, forget peopling-ness. Again, really fucking badly. Like, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I didn't know who someone was who spoke to me by name. And I, I figured it out from the people I had seen, but I'd already texted another girl. <laughs> but I think both of them sound, both of them know what, like, kind of the shit I'm going through. And I don't think either of them would have been offended. Um, well, she wasn't because I spoke to her. And I don't think either of them thought I was too much of a fucking total weirdo for saying that shit and making what seemed to be way too much out of her. Sorry, I didn't recognise you. But the point was, it was like, she was about the third person that had said my name. And I didn't know who was on the other end of the voice when I looked around. But then there were other people that I was recognising and saying hi to. And it was really like, uh, oh, whoa, whoa. And, and before that, I'd walked down the road and I'd seen three people who all called me by name. I was just looking at them thinking, I don't know you. I don't know you. And it is common. Like, I'm, like I've been around the club scene for a long time. I know a lot of people that I've met once and chatted to and shit like that. Um, I think we've all got people on our Facebook. You think, you're on my Facebook? Are you really? <laughs> But I was just looking at them and they all knew my name. And I just felt, again, it's like, it's the sort of thing where normally I just go, mate, I'm really shit with names. I'm sorry, what's your name? But it wasn't that. It was like, I didn't even know who they were. I didn't even know who they fucking were. And it, it's the then response to that was almost like cello music. It fit, you know, like when they put that sort of creepy music in a horror film, it was, it's like, I. I kind of describe it as getting tinnitus in my eyes. <laughs> my vision goes... <laughs> and everything seems to go weird. And I do get a tinnitus -y feeling. And it was just like... <sighs> and like I say, they're all physical symptoms. But it is attached to the, oh my God, I don't know who it is. But for some reason, like... <laughs> I've stopped cracking one of my most hilarious fucking jokes about it because I used to say, I'm not being funny, mate, but if I don't remember you, I don't see why I should have to take full fucking responsibility for that. Make a bigger fucking impression. Maybe I'll fucking remember you. Not being funny, mate, but it takes two to tango. You know what I mean? And we all know I've got a shit memory, so why the fuck are you blaming me? <laughs> but I don't do that anymore because I know it's me and I feel horrible when it happens and I can't joke about it anymore. I can't, I can't make it funny anymore because it isn't funny. Um, so I'm a wickle bit scared, <laughs> but it's like, I'm going down the local gaff and getting the bus there. I could probably even get the bus home. I think, I think the bus is gone, right? It ain't far. And if I need to fucking leg it, I will get on my toes. I've done that quite a few times. Last time I went out, I stayed to the end. Um, quite a few times I've not stayed to the end. This year, I've just like had to fucking bail. Um, but it's all right, do you know what I mean? It's like, I need to keep challenging this shit because otherwise I could get into a dark circle of, of of repeating the same thing, of like not wanting the fear of it happening. And then if it does happen, then being like doubly fucked over by it and building it up to be even worse next time. And it's like, I've just got to keep saying, mate, I might have trouble recognizing you when I see you. Please give me some time. Please don't take the piss out of me. Um, and if people do, it's I'm gonna, you know, it's like I'm gonna find out if people can give a fuck or not. And if they don't give a fuck, that's up to them. That's fine. I won't be horrible to them. I just won't waste my time. Um, but yeah, that's like that's my reality. That's my reality. That I'm going out and people that I know and chat to and on my Facebook and shit, and they're being friendly to me. And I feel, you know, fundamentally, I feel fucking rude. I feel rude. I feel like I'm being arrogant, or I feel like I'm being like, oh, who are you? Like, you know, Mr. Fucking Cool. I'm anything but cool. <laughs> fucking way past cool, darling. <laughs> I'm fucking awesomely, fucking incredibly fucking cool. But only in my world. <laughs> um, but, no, I mean, you know, the sort, I mean, the ones that fucking try and, like, play games by pretending they don't know you or that you're not that important to them and all that shit. <laughs> um... But that's how I feel that I'm coming across. And again, it's like, it's open to interpretation and rah, rah, rah. But I wish people would stop doing that, unpacking every single thing and just making, well, it could just be this. 
it's like I just need to deal with how I feel. I need to deal with how I fucking feel. And it's not just the the rudeness aspect of it. It's the fact that when it happens, it just blows me to fucking pieces, mate. That's what it is. I'm basically like transported to being that fucking trembling little fucking 14, 15 year old Mikey who hated his guts. <coughs> hated his guts. And suddenly, oh, hello, you. Where the fuck have you been? <laughs> Why are you back? Um, and my conscious mind doesn't agree with any of it. And it's a very peculiar space to fucking be in. <laughs> when it's like your body goes, hang on, was I not supposed to feel that? Why? Because of that? Okay, I'm still feeling it anyway, though. <laughs> I'm feeling that it's happened. I feel my thoughts. This is the weird thing that is hard to explain. A th the feeling becomes, a th feeling is recognised as a thought. And I get fucking hundreds of them. <laughs> <laughs> like emotional hiccups. But they're like hickins. <laughs> they don't come out, they go in. I'm under shrapnel fire <laughs> of weird fucked up twisted emotions that fucking I, my body decides are real. And my head's going, well, what the fucking hell is going on here, actually? <laughs> Am I connected to any of this? <laughs> Do I even know anything anymore? <clears throat> but I think, yeah, feeling my, my, my awareness wobbling. <laughs> That's a funny one. Um, so... Yeah, I think that's probably it. This is, again, um, I don't think there's much of a point to this one. I don't think there's anything really worth... Um, shall I share it? I will, because it's... I do I do journalise myself, and this is, like, this is the day that I've been building up to, and this is the... the what? Eight hours later. <laughs> Fucking hell, that took too long. And I'm talking about the time, and I said it took too long. Gosh, I'm hilarious, aren't I, though? Um... Uh, yeah, I think that's... Mate, what the fuck are you saying, Mikey? I don't fucking know. Do they? I doubt it. Do you want to wind your fucking neck in, son? Yeah, mate. <laughs>